What's going on guys, Vic VB here. The Ultra Firepower is officially complete with the works. Since it's that coin. After a few weeks, finally the Ultra Firepower free 99 Facebook Marketplace score that I got is officially done and working 100% with a couple of add-ons. Now some of the issues that we did have, number one, the audio on two of the games was not working at all, but the biggest issue was player two, the solenoid, was no longer firing, and after a couple of minutes, you could smell kind of a electrical burn happening in player two. The audio fix on this one was pretty simple. This does only have one speaker. The left channel is being used. I basically swapped from the left channel to the right channel, and now those two games do have game audio. The biggest fix that was needed was this right here, player two, the 24 volt solenoid totally burnt to a crisp because of an IO board issue. The IO board gave constant 24 volts to this solenoid and basically fried it. That then resulted as we did the testing, you could smell electrical fire burn happening in the heat of the moment. With a new 24 volt solenoid now and a new IO board, this is done. As I had to wait two weeks for this new I.O. board to be sent from China, I did some modifications on my own. One of them, LED underglow along with the LEDs in the speaker panel and around the TV. And I also did add the strobe effect. When you shoot the gun, your strobes go off per player. Each player has its own strobe effect. Let's take a look in the dark. As you can see, two separate sets of strobes, player two and player one. It looks great also in the dark. The Ultra Firepower 3-in-1 Pandora box on rail shooter cabinet slash system. Stay tuned for my review on both of these, but let me know down below. What do you think about the system along with my add-ons that I did? Oh. Looks like my credit is up. Game over.